Hi lovely bag ladies, it's me Michelle here with another fantastically funny video. Today we're going to be looking at something that comes up a lot in the chat rooms and that's how to use your pochette and your jujube together. Namely, how do you hang various size bags off of your pushchair without catapulting your infant skyward or without it dragging along the floor. Not your infant, your bag. Um, in a puddle of mud. So I'm going to be showing you a variety of bags hung off of my workhorse pushchair which is my baby jogger City Mini GT and I'm going to be using the Juju Bee bag clips called the Bee Connected. Now for those who haven't seen the Bee Connected they are heavy industrial things. They are made of the same metal hardware that you would find on all of the Juju Bee bags including a swivel clip, exactly the same and a very, very, very hardy and strong piece of cord, should we say it's cord, that's backed with a leatherette kind of material. Um, and all you do is you take that and you put it in this bit and you hang it over your various push chairs, um, bars, don't hang it on your handle. I noticed that the cats decided to steal the show by the way. It takes a bit of doing this, I'm not gonna lie, but I like that purely because once I put these on my push chair, they stay on my push chair. I don't move them to and from other push chairs. If you've got multiple push chairs, then maybe you need to get multiple clips or Velcro clips or something different. These are very much, you put them on your push chair and they stay. What do you think, Kat? What do you think? Do you like these? Good. You make sure that it's through the metal loop like that, and then you put your push chair handle or your chassis bar through that part and then you just push that shut and it's nice and secure. So let's have a look and see how these plus my Jujube bag collection look hanging off my push chair. Okay so first things first is I'm going to hang my Imperial Princess be right back. So you put your clip in your D-ring then the same on the other side and as you can see it sits really happily there it's low down good thing about it being low down is that you've got access to this top pocket so you can put you know the stuff you want to grab easily in that pocket you've got access to your phone pocket so that's easy to get hold of and you can open up just parts of your bag I've just filled it full of weight just to show you that I'm not hanging empty bags on this um, and you've got access to your bottle pockets and as you can see it's not tipping because it's closer to the back of your push chair and lower to the ground so the weight is not hanging off of this bit so that is how, let me see if I can turn this around. So that is how your be right back looks hanging on the back of the push chair. Um, let's do some more. Here is my first lady bee classy. I love this on the back of hanging off the back of push chairs because it looks really, really smart. You've got full access to your mother pocket so you can get anything out you need. And it's quite inconspicuous. It hides nicely away, and you've still got access to everything you need to have access to. Now, the B Classy's forerunner, the Better B. Let's click that on. Again, that looks nice, it hangs nicely. With bags with um, shoulder straps, I tend to shorten the shoulder straps because I'm always paranoid they're gonna drag on the ground. They never do, but um, I'm always paranoid about that. Um, again, you've got full access to the bag. This one's particularly good because you've got this giant pocket at the front of your bag. You can stuff what you can stuff stuff that you want to get to instantly, like your phone or um, your car keys or something like that in the front, and then it's there. Maybe a packet of wipes. I think that looks really cute. Okay, here's a bit of a classic. Here's the BFF. I've got this in Queen Bee, and again. Hangs very nicely off the back of the push chair, full access to mother pocket and all the other pockets. And then of course the great thing about this is being a push chair bag is nothing will fall out because you have the gusset there. So if I put in some weight, make more, make more. Outgoing bag that I've been using this week. There's Patty White, Thomas and Clarabelle. The shouting in the background is my son. It means if you get screamed out, oh, I need to get something, I need to get something, and you let get your husband to do it, you haven't got an avalanche of stuff coming out. So for me, 
a BFF is a brilliant hanging off a pushchair bag. Now the Hobo B is a little bit different because it's got the different straps on it. You still have the ability to hang, so that's fine. But I know the temptation with the Hobo B is just to hang it with the straps, but I don't like doing that. I like to get the strap away and clean. This is my new um, dream world Hobo B that I haven't used yet. It's the first time I've used it for anything. And that fits really nicely and snugly at the back of your, bag, at the back of your push chair as well. So, all very well and good for structured bags, but what about unstructured bags? So this is my iconic Super B. And you can buy D-rings to go into the slots here that will hang happily off here. I haven't done that um, because I'm lazy and I need to do that really. But what you can do is if you attach a messenger strap to it, you can attach them to your messenger strap pockets. This is a great solution if you are going out on a big day out. So if you're going to the zoo, if you're going swimming, if you're just going to like a park and you have picnic bags and all of that malarkey, you can put a Super B on the back of your pushchair and it can be your dumping ground. And then if you really, really want to, you could probably put another set of clips here and put a Hobo B on top. And then again, here's my, um, my light my gorgeous Unikiki lights. Um, and with this one, I haven't got a messenger strap that will let me do that, but I want to show you. Here are the ring, the, oh, what are you calling them, belt loops. And these are the same as, the, um, these clips are the same as what's on the messenger straps. So, if you're happy to do that and not damage your bag, it doesn't damage your bag. There we go. And that again is a great solution. This is what we do when we go to the library. I attach this to my bag and this becomes our library book bag. Finally, let's discuss the Be Prepared. Now this is my Be Prepared in Dream World. A lot of people question the ability to hang these off push chairs. As long as you are following your safety guidelines, not overloading your bag, not overloading your push chair, and as long as you low, hang it low, this will fit on the back of any push chair. And I just want to prove this to you, but it won't tip. Now, at the moment, I currently have nothing in my dream world. As you can see, it is empty. The chair is very stable. This is my B-Classy that was full of stuff. My lights. My hobo baby. My better bee. Have you noticed how this is not tipping yet? Obviously I don't recommend that you, you know, travel around with all of your jujube stuff inside of a better bee. This is another. This is my BFF. Notice how my push chair is not tipping go. It, is, it will take a lot of weight to tip this. Because I've hung it in the correct place, it's fine. And I like the way that the Be Prepared looks on the back of the push chair, personally. Now, when I say it will fit on any push chair, I have hung this with a messenger strap off the back of a umbrella stroller and it was absolutely fine. Again, I, I did it low to the ground. If you hang it off of here, it will tip. But if you hang it here, you're absolutely fine. So the only bags I haven't shown you is a mini B and a mini B doesn't have the D-rings. It's difficult to hang off a push chair and there's no two ways about it, but that's not what it's for. You put that in your tray, you carry that on your back, or you get one of these little puppies to hang off your, on you get, on here, and then you can use it, you can hang it from the um, grab handle, but I don't like doing that. Sorry, I'm barely in shots there, aren't I? You see my lovely green hair? Hello. Um, I don't really like doing that, because it gets in the way of walking. And then the other thing is that you can hang both starlets and superstars off of here too. I haven't got one to hand at the moment because my superstar's in the wash and I don't own a starlet and need to own a starlet. 
I hope that was helpful ladies. If you have any questions or if you just want to reach out and talk to me, I'm always available on the comments below this video, on Instagram, on my Facebook page, on email and on Twitter. And I'm always hanging around on the various Facebook groups and in the pink room, so please reach out. And also subscribe, because you know, subscribing is cool and you want to be cool, don't you? I'll be making a video again for next week. And I hope you have a lovely week. So that's bye from me and my cat's bum. Bye. Works with a cat too. Maybe not so much.